Hi everyone, I'm Leah of CJ Drill, and today, well, we're going to install an access panel. Now, if you're wondering what is an access panel and what it's used for, it's very simple. A lot of times we want to access plumbing that's inside the wall. We want to access those pipes, and there really is no way to do it without one of these. So today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to install one of these guys. So let's get started. All right, I'm in the bathroom, and this is the bathroom wall that I want to, to uh, install my access panel. And this is, uh, this is where I'm going to install it, right here. Now, why right here? Well, I've determined that I have a stud running right here. And of course, a stud is a piece of wood behind the drywall that the drywall is attached to. Well, I don't want to install my access panel where there's a stud, I want to get away from that stud and I'm going to install it right there in the center where I know that there are no studs. Now how did I determine that? Well, I used a stud finder and I suggest that you do the same thing before you go just opening up a wall because you don't want to run into any issues. Now if you don't know how to use a stud finder you can go to the CJ Drill website and there's a video that shows you exactly how to use a stud finder. Now comes time to make the opening and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the floor as my reference point. That's where I'm going to draw my measurements. So I'm going to take a tape measure. I want the bottom of my access door to sit eight inches off the floor. So I'm going to make a mark here. Then I'm going to move my tape measure over and I'm going to make another mark. Those are my reference lines. Okay, so I've got the outline here of my panel. Now if I were to cut it just like this, well, the, the access panel would fall right through because it's the same dimensions exactly as the panel itself, right? So what we're going to have to do, I flipped it to the back side so you can see that really that inner lip is about an inch off the outer lip. And so we're going to make the adjustments from this line here. Okay, so I've got my inner lines marked. And the, this line here, down the side, that now becomes my cutting line. Now to make the cut, I'm going to use a drywall saw. But if you don't have a drywall saw, you can use a keyhole saw as well, or a utility knife. So now I'm going to start my cut. And the way I do it is I'm just going to take my drywall saw and score it, make that mark along the top there. Now I can start making the cut. Now I'm going to repeat the process by coming down this side. Three sides cut. Okay. I don't need to use the drywall saw for that final cut. I can just use a utility knife and score this line. I've got my lines cut, right? Scored that with the utility knife. Now all I have to do is push forward like so. All right. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my cut, um, completely cut it out with a utility knife here. Okay, so I've got my opening here. Now it comes time to put in the panel. And what I'll do is I'll use some construction adhesive along with um, a caulking gun. That's what you're going to need here. You don't have to worry about putting any fasteners in because the construction adhesive is going to do the job for us. I've got my caulking uh, gun loaded with construction adhesive. Now I'm just going to go around the perimeter of the, the opening with the adhesive. All the way around the perimeter. 
And you want to use a nice generous amount. Okay, don't be afraid to use a generous amount of construction adhesive. And it looks good. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to press our door into place here. We'll rest that on that side. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a rag and I'm just going to clean off the perimeter. I mean that's nicely, that's nice and firm in the place, but I don't want to have all that excess there. Okay, so I've cleaned off the residual adhesive, okay? And I want to say something very important, that is you don't want to use so much adhesive securing the door that you glue the inner lid shut. Okay, don't use so much that that becomes a problem. You know, what good is an access door if you if you can't open it, right? So just be really mindful of that. Just use enough to secure it, but not so much that it seals the door shut. Okay, so our access door is in place, and it looks pretty good. Now, I will say this. This is something to consider. These doors are designed to accept paint. That way you can paint them and then they blend in better with the surrounding area. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.